Hello, everyone. Um, sorry, I was looking at the other screen to make sure everything's good. But welcome. This is uh, a little different than usual, I would say. I'm. Oh God. Anyway, I thought I'd try something different. One of my friends, uh, Des, told me about the Whataburger Pico de Gallo burger and said it was delicious. So I'm going to try it out myself for everyone to see, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I just sometimes these video ideas just come out of nowhere. And this is one of them. So if you enjoy seeing somebody try and talk about food, this is the place to be. If not then you could probably check out all my other videos about video games. Also, um, this is from Whataburger. If you don't know what Whataburger is, you might not be from Texas. Well, you might know what it is even if you're not from Texas because uh, we talk about it a lot because it's amazing. And uh, it's in direct competition apparently with In-N-Out down here because everybody from up north says In-N-Out is the best. I've had In-N-Out Burger. It's okay. I mean, it's not fantastic. The burgers seem kind of on the small side, but Whataburger has, like, very large burgers. Also, um, I totally forgot. This is a medium from Whataburger. It's 32 ounces. It's gigantic. A large is 44 ounces and about, like, this much taller. I know this because uh, usually when I get um, milkshakes, I will get them in the large size because I forget that large is very large at Whataburger. I don't know. I guess it's, you know, one of those everything's bigger in Texas things. Oh, I guess holding this up next to me, it doesn't look that big, but I mean, it's it's pretty substantial compared to other places where it's like the stick, especially like McDonald's. All right. But yes, yeah, so this is the, the Whataburger bag. I'm sorry, it's reflecting the light, but it has the Pico de Gallo, there we go, which is the Pico burger. They gave me far too many napkins. I mean, I know I'm a messy eater, but it's not, it's not that bad, I swear. And then the fries coming out. Uh, uh, I do really like their fries. Like McDonald's fries are all right, but they're like more shoestringy than most. And I like my fries to still be, like, kind of thick and, you know, more potato -y. I mean, I guess they look very similar. But, you know, like, McDonald's fries are usually, uh, I don't know, they just look skinnier. You know, if you're a fast foodie, do you probably know what the fuck I'm talking about. But All right, there's still a couple of fries left at the bottom of the bag. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. My fries are almost falling over. Okay. They're a little bent at the bottom. Ah! Okay, the bag is empty. This is the Pico de Gallo burger. You can tell because it has stickers that says Pico de Gallo on it. They're also the burger is also pretty big. It's like the size of my hand. That's this is how big most water burgers are. And this one is uh, double meat. So there you go. Oh, it's very flat though. I'm not used to them being quite this flat. Oh god, the sauce. It this well, it's hard to tell. Um, but the. The Pico de Gallo is in the top part under the, is that mayo or some other stuff? I don't know. But Pico de Gallo is really good on its own. And Whataburger makes really good burgers. So together, you know, it's got to be a good marriage, right? This thing is way bigger than I thought. It would. I think it has Pepper Jack, too. Oh, God, I have white stuff in my beard. I don't think that's mayo. It doesn't seem thick enough to be mayo. Sorry, my hair is getting longer, and sometimes it always feels like it's in my in your face. Also, there's so much stuff in my mustache. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I don't think that's mayo, but that's definitely, that is definitely pepper jack on there, because it's got that little kick, but I love pepper jack, so that's a, that's a point in its favor, and I mean, I always like their burgers. I don't know what it is. 
I don't know. I need to get better at making burgers myself. Like I'm, I'm pretty good at it, but um, like when you eat at like a fast food place and they have better tasting burgers than what you cook on the grill, it makes you feel kind of self conscious. Mm. Sorry, I keep oh. keep spelling. I hope this isn't too lewd for YouTube. But yeah, there's a lot of pico de gallo like throughout the whole thing and that sauce. And I mean, I love tomatoes and pickles and stuff on burger. I don't think this has any pickles in it, which is okay. It's got plenty of tomato. Sure. And it's got a bit of spice, but not like not bad at all. My friend said it was spicy. I thought it would be spicier because she loves like super spicy food. But mm. it's just a nice, like, slow, low burn. So yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing on here because that would just take a little while and this is really just supposed to be a shorter video kind of like a, i guess a tester video i don't know i feel like i should do more food reaction type things maybe i mean in the same vein that there are bajillions of let's plays that's probably a similar thing but i mean i guess it's just everybody has a different audience really so i don't know but that was oh man this thing is delicious. I'm about half done with it. I actually eat burgers pretty fast, but. But yeah, if you're a fan of a bit of spice and tomatoes and like pico de guy onion and stuff on your burger and you live in Texas or somewhere where there's a Whataburger, I don't think they're outside of Texas. I know there's some in Mexico. I think I had read an article where they were thinking about going other places. But yeah. I'd, I'd highly recommend it. And this is some... I don't have any, like, fucking... I don't have anything, any contracts or anything with water. I just live in Texas, and I like Whataburger. Maybe that's super stereotypical. I also have guns. I don't like the Dallas Cowboys, though. I, I'm not really a big fan of football. Sorry, people who like football. But yeah. I'd say Pico de Gallo Burger is definitely, definitely good. I mean, to be fair, I like pretty much anything that they come out with. But, who knows, maybe they'll come out with something that's bad, and I'll be like, eh, probably not, unless you want to try it for yourself. I mean, everybody has different But yeah. Thank you for being here on uh, Chaos Tries Things. I don't know. This doesn't have a name, it's just me. Eating a burger that came out. But maybe I'll try more random foods that I've never tried before. And share the experience with you, the viewer. Until then, you enjoy the rest of your evening.